Yo, 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 what up guys? It's Bennett and Emmett and welcome to Bennett and Emmett cooking in the kitchen. All right, homies, so as you may know or should know, it is October, which means it's spook. Whoa, wait, wait, huh, what does, what does oob mean? Why do you have to interrupt me to ask a stupid question? Well, I, I just wanted to know, what, is, what, what does your shirt mean? It says boo. Oh! You're about to see something scary right here. you about to see something scary right here. Come here, boy. Come on, not again. Come on. Not again. All right, so as I was saying, it's October, which means it's spooky, spooky season. season. And for this episode, we're going to make a Halloween treat. That's right, home dog. Today, we're going to be making monster cookies. Cookies? What do you mean by cookies? Cookies ain't healthy. That was to be healthy. The thing about these cookies are that they are gluten free. And unlike most gluten free stuff from personal experience, these actually taste good. Alright then, let's get started. Woo. Let's go. It's Yeah! Cooking in the kitchen! Go it with it! In the kitchen! Alright, so for these monster cookies, first you're gonna need to heat your oven to 350 degrees. Your ingredients are three eggs, one and one fourth cup of packed light brown sugar. There you go. I said one and one fourth cup of packed brown sugar. Yeah, and I do you know oh, what this is? Uh, well, it looks this is suave lotion. But it looks the same. Dog, get it. Oh my god. Go back and grab the brown sugar. Just assume and compare it to this. Outside. One is brown, and this is. Why was you on the white one? Tor it's eight. not sugar. One cup of regular white sugar. Faster! Faster! Get one cup of this. A half a teaspoon of salt. What are you? What the? No! No! So you are ghosts, because ghosts are afraid of salt. <laughs> ah, you got it on the ground! One tea. I'm literally stepping in the salt that you drop here. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. 12 ounces of creamy peanut butter. Hey, yo, go on, bro. I will not. Ow! Do not. He threw a canned object at me. A half a cup of M&M's. You know, it's good to have a piece of tennis racket in your food. You know, a piece of tennis racket. This is made of plastic. More game. How is eating plastic good for the digestive system? Turtles do it all the time. So, like, it should be fine for us, right? Right? You can also add a half a cup of chocolate chips if you're feeling like it. And the next ingredient is two teaspoons of baking soda. Like this. You will also need one stick of softened butter. Lastly, you need three to four cups of quick oats. What are you going to do now? Yeah. No! Hello. Also, to make this recipe even more spooky, we're going to add some candy eyeballs. You can find these in the baking cake mix section of Walmart. Now we got all our ingredients, it's, it's time, time for some mixing, mixing and mixing. So, the first step is to mix your eggs and your sugars well. Well what? Well I gotta. Your second spooky step is add your salt, your vanilla, your peanut butter, and your softened butter. Okay, Emmett, we're gonna need to soften that butter, so go ahead and put it in the microwave for a little bit. Emmett, Emmett! What? You're you putting it, microwave. you're putting it in the shell. I said the microwave. How was I supposed to know what's the difference between a microwave and a shell? Can't assume stuff about me, dog. 2019. I just don't know. Next, we're gonna add three to four cups of oats. And you can add more oats if oh. needed. Two. You want to take your anger out, Zubby? Oh. Three. That can't scold up and get on your nerves? Four. Just hit him with that. And next is two teaspoons of baking soda. Now stir it. The oats in this recipe instead of the flour is what makes it gluten free. If the recipe is too liquidy, go ahead and add a bit more oats. This is kind of the consistency that you want. This next part is my favorite. Hey, cause it's time to shine. 
we will not be doing the two-step, we will not be doing the cowboy boogie. Instead, we're going to be adding some M&M's, talking about M&M's. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm actually wearing it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do one to me. Oh, look, you lost me right now. And your chocolate chips if you want to add some. And what I'm most excited for, the candy eyeballs. Okay, since we're not adding chocolate chips, we're gonna add a full cup of M&M's. You ready for this, bro? Yeah, I am. Ooh. I'm supposed to gradually add it in, that's okay. Okay, so now it's time for the spooky part. The addition of the candy eyeballs. Ooh, it looks scary. So many eyeballs. It's like we just took them out of a person and put them in here like we're monsters. I'm about to eat our well, favorite. Emmett, what is that? Are you a bisco girl? <laughs> so, once you've done licking and mixing all your ingredients, you go and take a sheet of wax paper if you have one, spread it across your pan, and then scoop and do each piece of cookie dough onto your bacon sheet. Then you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes more or less. <clears throat> now for the wax paper retain. Behold, thou shalt not throw shade if thou shalt not throw hands. Hodulations 420. Scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Hi, Emmett. You done scooping and duping? Yeah, I'm done scooping and duping. I've been done scooping and duping. Okay, we'll put them in the oven. Please put it in the oven, please. Which one do we put it in? The oven. Which oven? The one that's on. The one that's been making the noise this whole time we've been shooting the video. Yes. Ah ha ha! What if I dropped these on the floor and we had to start over? Nah, I'm just kidding, unless... Alright, so these are our spooky, spooky monster, monster cookies. Inner demon comes out, oh my god. <laughs> so, one thing that we want to like tell you guys about that happened is when you put the candy eyeballs in and we mixed them in, some of them melted so the eyeballs were all droopy. But what we did for our other set is we individually stuck each eyeball into the glob of dough. And they came out looking much better, so you guys may want to try that. So if you want to try this recipe at home, feel free to do so. We will leave the recipe in the description box below. Yes. And comment down below and tell us what you guys are going to be for Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, without any further ado, peace out and bye.